Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will create it so the footstep sounds play on different material surfaces. And this is a part 2 of the last video, so if you haven't watched that, you need to watch that before you can continue with this video. And I'm sorry for taking so long uh, about making a part 2 of the series, but here it is, here is the part 2, and I will not take this long again with a series. So yeah. This is the part 2 of the tutorial, and as you can see on the video, uh, if I walk on for example metal, a metal sound effect will play, and if I walk on dirt, a footstep uh, sound effect will play, and if I walk on wood, the wood footsteps uh, sound will play. And this is only for the first person, so we are not using any animations or something like that, and this is only for the first person player. So we don't use any animations or something like that. Everything is line traced, so yeah, it is a much more realistic way of uh, making a game, and yeah, I hope you like it, so yeah, without further ado, let's start. Okay, so first of all, I want to go into the first person folder, then into the blueprints, and then I want to go into the BP first person character. Now what's in here, we want to go into the event graph, and as you all know, in the first video, we changed the Unreal Engine 5 default movement code to the Unreal Engine 4 uh, movement code, but this wasn't necessary, so all we need to do is to just delete all of this. So now we're left with this. Now once we've done that, we want to go to the Edit, Project Settings, then we want to scroll down until we see Input. Now, we want to delete the axis mappings that we did in the last video. So, we can delete this and this. Just like that. Now we're done here, so just close out of here. And now, we want to recreate the Unreal Engine 5 default movement code. Because it is much simpler, so we need to do this step. Okay, so first of all, we want to right click and search for EA uh, Move move this one right there so after we have this we want to drag out of the trigger and add movement input and the world direction will be the get actor right vector then our scale value we want to drag this into the action value but as you can see it doesn't work so we need to right click on the action value and split the struct pin. Now it splits, so we have the x value and the y value. So drag the scale value into the x, and then, and now out of here, we want to add movement input again, and the world direction will be get actor forward vector. And the scale value. And the scale value of the add movement input right there, we want to drag this into the Y. Then you can just double click on the line to make it more nice. Just like that. So now the movement code is all done. So now we can walk again and move around. But we haven't connected these codes into the movement. So let's do that. So first of all, we want to hold down the Alt key and left click on this false line right there and then we we'll just take these two and we drag them up here so now the stop will go into the completed of the EA move so just like that because we don't need the stop to be coming out of the false this is more uh, this is much better to have it so now we're left with all of these so just select all of, all of it and then just drag it up then you want to connect the add movement input to the branch just like that now the whole code is done so just highlight everything click on the C and you want to comment it uh, movement so now we're done with that so now if you compile a save and test it out again you can see that everything works as it should. Okay, so now when we're done with that, we want to go into the footsteps folder, and now 
you want to create a folder for each of your different material surfaces. So if you for, for example work on dirt, you want to create a folder for the dirt footsteps and if you work on metal, you want to create the same for the metal and wood for the wood. And the wood footsteps we used in the last video is the default sound when we're walking anywhere in the level. So the wood footsteps right now will play all the time. So now if I go into the dirt footsteps, you can see that I have imported my dirt footstep sounds. And then for the metal footsteps, you can see that I have imported my metal footstep sounds as well. So make sure to add the footstep sounds for all of the materials that you want to work on in your level. So once you've done that, we want to go into a folder and then we want to select all of the sounds, and then right click and create single queue. And then we want to call it dirt foot steps queue. Just like that. Then go into it. And as you can see, it automatically created a random node. So if we double click on the output, you can see that it will play a random sound all the time. So it isn't as repetitive. So we don't need to do nothing more in here. So just save and go out of here. And then we want to do the same for the metal. So select everything, right click, create single queue, and call it metal, metal foot steps queue. Just like that. Then we want to go into it. And as you can see, everything works fine right here as well. Now you want to do that for all of the different materials that you have and all of the different footsteps uh, sounds that you have. So do that right now. But as you can see, I only have two different uh, footsteps that I have added and I have already done this one because we did it in the last video. So do that for all of the different footsteps uh, material sounds. So now once you're done with that, we want to right click on any spot right here and then we want to create a new folder. Then we want to call it physical physical material physical materials then go into it so now once we created the folder we want to go into edit project settings then we want to search for physical so physical and then as you can see we get the physical surfaces and you want to type in all of the different surfaces that you can walk on in to the uh, surface types so I have three different surfaces that you can walk on I have the dirt the metal and the wood so I will just name it in the type 1 so wood metal metal and dirt but if you have more materials, you just want to add them right here. But I only have three, so I don't need to do more. Now, once you've done that, we can just close out of here. And then we want to go into the physical materials again. And we want to right click, go to physics, and add a physical material. Then just select the physical material. Select. And then you want to name it as we named it in the project settings. So make sure that it is named exactly like we did in the uh, project settings. So wood. And then we want to go into the wood. So now once we're in here, you can see that we have the surface type right there. So this is for the wood. So I will choose the wood right there. And this is what we uh, created earlier in the project settings. So yeah, I don't need to do anything more in here. So just save and close out of here. Then we can just duplicate this and call it dirt or whatever name you have for the material. Go into it. Then we want to change the surface type to dirt, of course. And then do the same. So duplicate and metal into it 
and then change the surface type to metal as well. And then change the surface type to metal. Just like that. Now we're done. And now we want to go and make all the coding for it. So what we want to do is to go to the first person folder, blueprints, and the BP first person character. So now once we're in here, we want to go to the trace footsteps. And now we want to delete the return node, so delete that. And then out of out hit, we want to break hit result. Then just click on this drop down menu. And then out of return value, we want to get a branch. Just like that. And then also out of the out hit, we want to get surface type. So then, out of the get surface type, we want to drag out here and switch on a physical surface. And then, the true out of the branch will go into the switch on a physical surface. So now, after we added the switch on a physical surface, we want to drag out of here and add all of the different sounds that we created earlier. So, out of the wood, we want to play sound at location and the sound will of course be the wood cue this one wood footsteps walk then we can just duplicate this three times because i have three different materials that i walk on so the metal will go in there and the dirt will go in there then i want to change the sound so for the metal i want of course the metal footsteps to play so metal footsteps cue then are the dirt, I want the dirt footsteps to play, so dirt, footsteps, Q. And then the location will, and then the location of all of these will be the lo location out of here. So go to the break hit result and drag out the location and just drag them all into the uh, sounds. Just like this. So now you can just compile and save. So now as you can see, we got an error. And let's fix that right now. So we're all done in here. And now we want to go into the footstep try. And in here, we want to delete the trace footsteps. And we also want to delete the get actor location and the play sound at location. Because we don't need it anymore. Now we're left with these two. And out of here, I want to drag you into a branch, like that. And then, out of the true, we want to drag out the trace footsteps. So just drag it out. And the branch, out of the true, will go into the trace footsteps. Just like that. So now, we're done in the footstep try. So compile and save. And now it should all be working. But, we need to assign the material for the footsteps to play so it knows what footsteps to play on what material surface. So let's do that right now. So we can just close out of here. And then, as you can see, I have set up three different materials. So dirt, metal and wood. And I want to assign the dirt footsteps to the dirt material and the metal for the metal and the wood for the wood. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, I will click on the wood, for example, then I will just scroll down until I see the material that I'm using for the wood. So, just open the material. And then, as you can see here, this material, on the, under the physical material tab, we need to change that to the wood. And this is the physical material that we created earlier in the video. So just, so just uh, choose that, then apply and save. And then do the same for the metal. So go into the metal, uh, material here this material we want to choose the metal physical material this one right there apply and save and then the same for the dirt so go into the dirt and then scroll down and here this material we want to have it as the dirt 
now we just want to save and now it should all be working so let's try it out so now if we click on play and if we walk on the dirt you can hear that the dirt is playing and if we walk on the metal you can hear that the metal is playing and for the wood you can hear that the wood is playing now these sounds aren't the best but i just cho chose them for the tutorial purpose but you should use better sounds because these aren't so good quality but yeah you understand the sound so yeah now it's all working and it is all done but if you want to make the footsteps sound more realistic we can change one thing and that is very easy to change so if you want your footsteps to sound much better do this uh, step right now but if you don't want to you can just leave it here and yeah so how do we do that well first of all we want to get into the footsteps folder then we want to quit then we want to get into the wood footsteps for example and we want to get into the queue so the sound queue now once you're in here we want to tick the override attenuation the true then you can change the inner radius and fall of distance and if you don't know what the override attenuation is it is that it will make it 3d sound so you will hear it so the sound isn't 2d so it is actually 3d so you can hear it in the world so just change the inner radius to about 30 is good and the fall of distance to about um, 1000 now just save and close out of here and let's do that for all of the different sound cues so metal over the attenuation 30 then 1000 save then for the dirt now if we test it out you can hear that if you walk and move around you can hear that the sound is actually 3d so i think that this sounds much better and much more realistic so yeah that's the video i hope you liked it and i am sorry for this taking so long for do a part two um but i hope you can forgive me and i am very sorry that it took so long for a part two video but yeah now it is made finally and uh, don't forget to join the discord we have a very big community over there so if you just want to hang out and chat and get some help from others uh, or just share your games and share your trailers and all of that stuff you can just join the discord link that is in the bio of this video so yeah thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next video so yeah have a good day bye